The mind looks after the body. It calls the body me. We accept the notion of a self when, in truth, there is no such thing. We create an ultimate destination when, in reality, there is no such thing. A path is used to close the distance between two points. What path is there that can take you to yourself? I am is the spark that ignites the mind. The world is a picture made of light from this ignition. One assigns reality to the pictures while ignoring the light. When the light is extinguished, the world ceases. A still mind is one in which the light is extinguished. If consciousness could be pointed out as having a specific location, it would be a place existing in space. All that Wu Xin can say is that it is nearby. It cannot be exactly described. But... When there is an intuitive understanding of its substance, it is there. It's all right here. Yet somehow, inexplicably, you're like birds in flight, looking for sky. Mind is not an illusion. It is the stream of thought, the process of thought. My mind is the illusion. The more easily you can be without thoughts, the nearer you are to it. To make the mind die, you must deprive it of energy in the form of thought. Wu Xin is the introduction of a torch to a darkened cave. Even if a poor man's eating utensils were made of pure silver, he would be a pauper as long as he remains uninformed. In the same sense, clear awareness 
is already there, but the clarity may not be. It is for consciousness to eliminate all the debris, creating the entanglement between it and the body. Once the debris has been removed, any seeming self melts away, like a candle approaching the sun. This is the path of the rejection of all paths. You are here looking for the experience of nothingness. Wu Sin tells you, go home. There is no experience of nothingness. All experience requires a subject and object. Nothingness is the absence of both. Cease feeding your delusion. You came and asked Wu Sin for signs of progress. If the goal is the disempowerment of the world, then progress is measured by one's disinclination toward worldliness. However, all notions of progress are really spurious, since the sort is available in every instant. It merely requires that one make a donation to Wu Sin, and that donation is oneself. To be a person requires memory, whereas to be does not. What path must be undertaken to be what you have always been? Someone has told you that milking a raven is what you need to do. But can a raven be milked? People live by words, not by the reality of what is. What does it matter what Wu Xin calls himself or doesn't call himself? What matters is whether his words are true. If they are true, then live by them yourself.
The mind deals exclusively with the known. The known means the past. If something is known, it was known at some point prior to this moment. As such, the mind is a product of the past. The first thing known was I am. Before that was known, nothing was known. All so-called knowledge is subsequent to it. Abidance in the first thing known will take you where you need to go. Go to that place where nothing is. It is there that everything, in fact, is. Penetrate this space. You will vanish from yourself. Then, only the authentic you will remain. There are two ways of knowing things knowing them intuitively and knowing them conceptually. The knowledge that we have by eating rice is of a different quality and is superior to our knowledge about rice before having tasted it. No one can do more than lead you to the door of the sanctuary, invite you to enter and bow and depart. One will never reach their own core except through themselves and in the very depth of themselves. The essence sees the essence, in the essence, through the essence. There can be no transformation of consciousness. Consciousness is. It is unchanging and constant. What occurs is a transformation in brain processes. A movement away from the self-centric viewpoint. And back to where there was perception without a perceiver. Realisation is the repositioning of the sentient screen that is consciousness from the background to the foreground. That which had been hidden is then obvious.
It is only when you are confused that you need to be led, to be taught. The end of confusion is the end of dependence. The simplest way to end confusion is to accept Wu Sin's words with total conviction. Make them your own. Live as if all were true, although yet unrealized. This is effortless work. How can realization not follow? Wu Xin declares that the authenticity of clarity is discerned as follows. The lightning flashes. The world vanishes. I remain. The world returns as I remain. 